Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This message is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy New Year's. And we're going to go ahead and do an energy update for you all. All right, please give me a message for Cancer. Okay, I did see this first. I see um, your overall is justice. Something's balancing out. Things are balancing out. Um, this also brings an understanding. This is like seeing both sides of something and understanding at a higher level why the uh, result is what it is or the consequence is what it is. Um, when I see this, usually I feel like karma being... Uh, being served like being given out or being received there's some type of balance and there's an understanding as to why something happened okay this it says justice it's a justice card okay so let's go ahead and get started okay nine nine of wands uh i feel like capricorn started like this so there's um there's a need not to give up, not to give in. I'm going to keep going. Like There's a need to just keep going. No matter how hard it is, keep going. Because you're, you're at the end of something here. Wow, death. You guys are going through some massive energies here. Okay, your life is changing. Your life is changing. Um, it's like you're on the other side. You are. Um, that's what I'm getting. A lot of you, this is like your life after death, actually. Um, so expect a transformed life. Everything's different. Even with this here, I feel like you're now going to start living. It's like literally you're now going to start living, Cancer. Everything you've experienced before this was not... It's basically was not your life. This is your life now. Okay. So let me just keep going. Okay. So this has been hard. Some of you, you might be dealing with an actual death in your family here. Because I see some mourning. I want to I wanna just keep going. Bear with me here. Wow. Yep. Y'all are going through a whole different type of energy here. Hang hey, man. Your life has been flipped upside down. Exactly what I'm getting. Um, outcome advice. Ace of Swords. This is to, to get you to see something. This is so that you can see something clearly. Something you can't deny. When I see this, um, I, I immediately know someone's in denial. Someone's refusing to see something. And the truth had to be given out in a very, very sharp way. It may have been painful way. This brings breakthroughs. This brings something you cannot avoid anymore. You can't say you don't see it anymore. This is what it is. And you guys are in like a whole different period of your life. Okay. And they're saying don't give up. Don't give up. The sad period is actually helping you. The period where you're in mourning and you're kind of assessing everything you lost here see you focus on the three cups that are down this period gets you to realize it wasn't all bad there's still two cups here um still standing some of you may have had some kind of recent like um reveal some type of revelation about your life about people in your life about things in your life um some of you may have lost something very important to you. I'm feeling a very strong emotion like here. Someone wanting to give in. All right, let's see what else we got. Just know this is like some type of 
yeah, karmic justice is what I'm getting. Okay, for some of you, this had to do with um, a relationship partner. I see the lovers here. Um, yeah, or like a marriage. Some of you may have uh, recently separated from a long-term relationship here. It could have affected your finances, your um, stability, your home. I'm seeing like a breaking up of the family here. Okay, and this is you. And now you're being called to move on and move forward. And it may be hard. Yeah, again, I'm getting a lot of you. Now you're going to start living. It's like now this is the beginning of your life. And they're saying don't give up because you can make it through this. A lot of your transformation is coming through some type of relationship here. Okay, Scorpio showing up. You could be dealing with another Cancer or Gemini. But this is what I'm getting. Um, Libra is at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what the next six cards. Okay, you're being moved. You're being moved. They're telling you to continue to move on. Some of you are actually moving to another location. I do see you moving. Okay, and there's a lot of there's a lot happening around y'all, Cancer. And this is going to take time. This will take time with temperance. Wow. Yeah, energy is very heavy here. Nine of Swords. I'm trying to see what they're trying to get through to y'all. This will take time. Um, I'm trying to see when this turns. It's just telling me how hard it is for y'all. That's what I'm getting. I don't see anything else but the struggle. I see the struggle here. I don't know. Some of you may not see it. Some of you may not understand what's happening still. The way it's coming out is almost like someone who still needs to understand what's happening. Not getting the clarity. Not understanding it. Still in the emotional part of it. Still needing to be moved. Still dealing with the drama that comes with it. It's like prolonging things. You got two cards of waiting. Well, three cards of waiting here. Oh, yeah. Some of y'all are not understanding this. Because this is, this tells me there's still some time here that needs, some of y'all still need to go through the change, the understanding. Like, I see you waiting for something to come out of it. Nothing has coming out yet. Some type of light bulb moment needs to be had. Some type of clarity. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting some. Somebody has not really understood this yet. Still here mourning. The death has already occurred. Still here. Worried. Can't sleep at night. I don't know. Because you guys... The, the the strength of cancer is being able to transmute any situation to your benefit because of y'all's strong emotion. You can transmute any low into a very, very, very high high. This is onward and upward movement. This is an ascension. This is fast movement. If you if you take the experience and understand what it means. You can actually excel. You can propel very high, right? That's the chariot. Move forward, move on. That's where your success is. Now, if you take this energy though, and you stay sad, and you stay gloomy, and you blame others, and you try to get revenge, and you try to fight people, and you worry and you try to see what you can get out of it and you stay in the same place and you don't move forward, you're going to have a problem. Because your same strength can be your demise. And 
I don't know. It's like um, some of you may be trying to get justice from someone. The way it's coming out, it's like some type of clarity has not been had. Let's clarify this. I mean, I wanted to pull one more card and I'll pull it, but I want to see what this Ace of Swords is. There's some type of truth that needs to be seen here. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, Cancer. Okay, some of y'all need to flip how you're looking at this or you're going to be dealing with delays. Hangman here again. Some of you sit very emotional. Um... Overly emotional. This can be the person crying. This can be the person who um, feel victimized. This is the person who's just not able to see anything other than what happened to them. You can't see another person's side. Sometimes we can get so caught up in our own emotion because this says flip the script, see the other side. This says there's another side to what happened and take a look at it from that point of view. And when we get so emotional in whatever happened, we forget that the other person, there were some effects for the other person. Some of y'all can only see y'all side. Focus on what went wrong. It affected the other person just as much as it affected you. Some of you can't understand. It's like lack of empathy I don't know this is how y'all message coming out here there's another person who was equally affected through whatever you went through even if, like if it's uh, some type of divorce some of you I'm feeling a divorce here with these two cards some of you it's a long term relationship and you can only see how it affected you negatively Okay, because you're also here. Some of you wanting to give up, feeling like everything happened to you. They're saying, no, you need to you need to do a 180 and get this light bulb moment. There's some clarity needed here. Um, cancer. This is what I'm getting strongly. I, okay, this is going to be for a specific few of you because there's something they're trying to push through. And it's going to require you to look at the other side. And if you can look at the other side, you're going to be here waiting. And you're going to continuously recycle this energy. Some of you are dealing with headaches and migraines. Because no matter how much clarity tries to come through, it gets stuck somewhere in your uh, like crown chakra area. And it's like like trying to vibrate out so that you can let it let the truth be known to you. And some of you, you leave it stuck here around the third eye chakra area and you're not seeing the clarity. So you get a headache, overthinking, over victimization here, stressing, feeling like things are only happening to you. Oh, this is going to take some time. This will take time because if, um, if you can't understand, there's another side to this. The cups are flowing. Two cups. It's two people. There's other energies being affected as well. There needs to be some type of balance, some type of understanding that there's another person, there's other people. There's two people here. There's other people being affected. Not just cancer. Other people are affected here. So they're trying to move you into a space where you can get that understanding. That brings clarity. That changes the situation. Some of you are actually dealing with your karma. Like the lack of understanding of what happened is the karmic justice. Like you, you got to understand. Okay, so I'm going to pull the last card here because I feel like this is taking longer than it needs to. I do. Um, some of you got to release that it's that lower ego needing to be like needing to be the one that knows everything.
is creating some kind of imbalance, disharmony here. Okay, so let me pull one more card because I like to pull six cards here and this is five. Okay, Page of Cups. It's like make amends, reach out. Be a little lighter. This is you. They want you to be a little bit lighter. So try to just enjoy yourself. Go out, have a good time. Socialize with friends, maybe. Some of you, they're telling you to reach out, make amends with people. It's like, don't be so hard on this situation. Some of you have not been able to become lighthearted on this. You're still hard on it. You're still upset. You're still mad. You haven't freed yourself. Right. That's what I'm getting. You have not freed yourself yet. You're still hard. Page of Cups. <clears throat> yeah, see? Let go of the need to control. It's here again. It's in um, reverse, I feel. Okay. This is... Temperance is like, okay, it takes a long time. You need to control the outcome. You need to be the one to dictate how it ends. That's why it takes so long, because you got to let go of the need to control the outcome. You have to let go of the need to try to dictate why it happened the way it happened. There's like a letting go of your lower ego with this card in reverse. Yeah, it's, it's like y'all getting these cards. It's here again. Some of you are stuck here. Um, some of you are stuck here until you can see the light bulb moment. You're, you're going to be stuck there until you can get this epiphany. All right. I was hoping for a more lighthearted message, but this is what it is. I don't know. I was, I was hoping this would turn around and give me something else. But y'all got, I don't know. Because the death, the transformation, this for me is like huge. It's like, okay, I get it. I understand why I'm going through it, right? So it's here. So some of you guys do get it. Some of you understand. If you're not understanding, you're going to find yourself stuck in some kind of energy that you don't like. You're not going to like it. I'm telling you, you're not going to like it if you can't understand that this affected more than just you. Like, basically, it's not only about you. There's other people. The Page of Cups is here. So some of you, children, I think I saw the Empress. Some of you, this could have to do with the mother of your children or a feminine energy around you. Other people were affected. Some of you, this is actually your own feminine energy. Showing love to yourself is necessary. All right, death. Why is death here? Death is here. Wow, y'all getting double cards. Wow. This is the fourth double card y'all got. So um, I feel like they, they're they um, saying that they keep having to tell y'all the same thing. Almost like something's not getting through. Guys, this is the message. I don't want to sound like I'm being hard on y'all, but y'all, like, the, the, the cards keep coming back out. Y'all keep getting the same energy. Some of y'all are in some kind of waiting period. Y'all be held here until you can understand that you're going through a transformation not to start feeling sorry and and focus on the negative but for you to get some kind of light bulb moment here there's some kind of epiphany there's some type of clarity i'm almost afraid to clarify again because i feel like we're gonna get another double card for y'all and y'all are right here at the center of the message so it's not the other person. They're trying to make sure. 
the cards come out in a way so that you can see this is about you. This is about you. This is you. And the guidance is become lighthearted, be more playful, reach out, make amends. Some of you guys need to lighten up. And that's what I'm getting as the message. We're going to pull one of these. I'm going to do an extended because I'm really interested in this here. Um, wow, this is very interesting. Okay. That was for Cancer. We're going to see what else they want to add to this for y'all. Okay. Surrender to the divine. Some of you guys need to start trusting in the higher power or basically in your higher self, honestly. There needs to be, um, some of you may not allow your higher self to lead. You're not able to listen to your intuition and go inward for guidance. Um, some of you may be looking for guidance or looking for a uh, solution externally trying to find out what can I do through this system or what if I did this and what if I did that you're trying to find a way um here you need to go inward cancer that's it says surrender to the divine I feel like you have help around you you have help around you let me see if anything else comes out but you have to be willing to go in to get this guidance that's that's what I'm getting. So yeah, we'll do the extended. I really hope this was helpful. I'm gonna recommend the timeline report for y'all. Um, it'll tell you what energies to expect throughout the year. Because this this came out very strongly. Okay, and that's your message. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. being able so this is denial seven oh it fell way over there it's literally on the floor and this is about a relationship there's another card it flipped all the way on the floor so i'm literally i'm gonna have to get up and walk around and get it that's a lot of work for me right now i don't even know if i want to go get it right now it's way over there it's something that's getting away from y'all so now i do have to go get it it's something getting away from y'all even when it comes to you, it leaves you. Even when it comes to you, it leaves you.